do 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 Harry Potter theme riddle, yeah! I look like a Japanese Harry Potter is about to go on the violent. In the Goblet of Fire in the book, not in the movie, because the movie cuts this out. To keep theatrical runtime to approximately two hours. Uh, Harry, in the final task in the maze, comes across a sphinx. And the Sphinx is blocking the pathway to the cup. Spoiler alert! So the Sphinx gives Harry a riddle and she gives him an ultimatum. She says, if you can't answer the riddle, you can go back to where you came from and go back under the stairs. Yeah, it's back the way you came. The second option is you can answer it, but if you get it wrong, then you're gonna die. No, I'm gonna attack you. I'm going to attack you. The third option is you can answer it and get it right, and then you can pass. So the actual riddle is, bear with me, you potterheads. Okay, and for those of you who don't know what a sphinx is, it's a mythological creature that's like half lion, half woman. Think of a person who lives in disguise, who deals in secrets and tells naught but lies. Next. Tell me what's always the last thing to mend. The middle of middle and end of the end. And finally, give me the sound often heard during the search for a hard to find word. Now string them together and answer me this. Which creature would you be unwilling to kiss? So pause the video now if you want to figure out for yourself. The answer's in three, two, one. Abracadabra, it's spider. It wasn't abracadabra, it was spider. I was just saying that for the spell. We, it's a long riddle, so I don't know how Harry did this all mentally. Because I'm pretty sure he gets it right, because he's still alive by the seventh book. Spoiler alert. So, first thing... Yeah, so the idea is, the first sentence... First thing of the person who lives in disguise, who deals in secrets and tells naught but lies. That's a spy. Next, tell me what's always the last thing to mend. The middle of the middle and the end of the end. Oh yeah, it's the letter D. And finally, give me the sound often heard during the search for a hard to find word. So when you're thinking of something, you go, uh. You stitch together all those three parts to make the answer. So spider. And then to reinforce the spider answer is the last bit of the riddle. Now string them together and answer me this, which creature would you be unwilling to kiss? Well, I don't know about you, but I don't want an echo tarantula. This ain't your standard six incher. Not even the ones you'd find in like Australia or something. This is Harry Potter universe spiders. This is like acrochromantula's size. If you enjoyed this riddle, share it with your friends to see if they can beat the Sphinx too. Woo!